folks, Jose here for another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. In the previous tutorial, we created the loop in our WordPress site so that uh, our information is now being output dynamically. The one thing that we will have noticed is that if we click on the title to view the individual post, we still only are able to see the excerpt here. That is because right now we don't have a file called single.php, so therefore WordPress is using this file called index.php to output our content for the single posts. So we need to rectify that. So the first thing that we want to do is go back into our text editor and create a, fo a file called single.php. Okay, so what we want to do then is go in, into our index.php file, copy all the code, and go back to our single.php, paste it, and then we can start to modify our code here. So let's see what we're going to do first. So once we click on this, post, in, on this uh, link to go to the single page, we no longer want it to be a link once it's here because there's nowhere left for it to go. So let's get rid of that so that when we are in the single page, it is no longer a link. So let's go back into our text editor and find the area that uh, outputs the title, which is right here, the title. And all we need to do is get rid of this code here. That's the anchor tag that's the opening anchor tag and also get rid of the closing anchor tag and then let's save that and go back to our post and refresh let me just clear the cache let me make it bigger hmm so that's not working let me check the code Oh, I see, I've misspelled single, so let me correct that. Let's just go to a uh, rename. Save it. And refresh. There, now it's working. So it's important to check your spelling, which I didn't. But now it's working. So now if we go to any post, click on it, it, it's no longer a tag. And we want to do the same thing for the image. So let's do that. So the image is being output right here. So we want to take away these anchor tags as well. So just go in here, delete that, and delete the closing tag. Save it. And if we refresh, it's no longer an anchor. The next thing we want to do is, you can see here we're on the single post. We click here and go to the single post and we're only getting a content uh, excerpt here. We want to see the full content when we are on the single one. So let's fix that. So go to your text editor and down here where we're outputting the excerpt, just change that to the content and save that. And if we refresh, we can see the full content now. Now let's go check another post. Let's check this one here. You can see the full content is there now also. Okay. What we'll notice here though is that some of these images are way too big. They're all the way out to the side and they're just looking kind of messed up. So we need to fix that. So let's see what uh, is affecting them. So it looks like it's the blog post and then IMG. So we have to fix that. So let's go to our uh, style.css and we're going to go blog dash post IMG with 100% uh, yeah. height auto and that should do it let's save and refresh 
and now you can see the pictures don't look messed up let me close this so you can see it better they fit now within there you can see that so let's check another post just to make sure we're good let's go to this one yeah all the content is now properly saved so the other thing that posts usually have at the bottom of uh, the content is a, is a way for users to be able to add comments to it. Right now we don't have anything like that. So we can do that. Uh, we just have to go back to our text editor, go to our single.php, and after the content right here, just put a little bit of space. Let's give ourselves uh, a line afterwards because we don't want it to be butted right up against the the, um, the content so just put an HR for a little bit of space and then put some PHP tags and then comments template and then a semicolon oops oops I can't type today sorry about that folks there you go semicolon save it and if we go back we now have this line that we put in so it's separated and also we have our default comments template. Now if we want to customize this uh, comments uh, form, we have to uh, create a form uh, or a file called comments.php. So let's go ahead and do that. File and then we're going to go comments.php. Okay, so let's just test that to make sure it's working. Just type in hello world and save that. And let's go back to our page and refresh it. And hello world is right here. So it's working properly. So let's get uh, started with the customization of our uh, comments form. So at the top, we want to have a div with a class of comments. Okay. And let's put some space there. And then I think we want to have an H2 for a title. And we'll just say comments. So let's just save that. Let's just make sure everything's working. Okay. So here we go. Comments. Let's go back to our text editor. And then we need now some code to display our uh, our um, part of me our uh, comments form. So let's just put a little comment here that says display the comments. And then we have to grab some text. I mean, we don't have to memorize this at all because uh, the Codex WordPress has this for us. You can see here in the in Codex uh, website here, I'll put this in the comments section so you don't have to memorize it. They have a default one here that you can use. So just go ahead, copy it in its entirety and plop it into your uh, text editor. Let's put a space there, okay. So let me just correct this comment. I, I should take those marks away and put these instead. And what we want to do next is put a little space here, put a couple of PHP tags, and we want to start displaying our, um, putting some code to display the actual form. So let's start with this. Let's put in WP, WP underscore list underscore comments okay and inside here we want to put args comma comments okay then put a semicolon and then we're gonna get some code for us put some space here and then we're gonna go to our uh, codex again here's a, a site that I found and I'll put this um, this this link in the description also. You can just copy this code right here and then we'll explain what it means. This is gonna be a, a, a simple uh, comments form. So take that, paste it in here. So basically it's an array with all the arguments and uh, when it says label sub submit, this is gonna be the ability to, to change the title of the send, send button. So if you wanted to say something else, we could change that. Here we can change the title of the reply section. So we can say something here. And here we can redefine 
our own text areas. So let's save this and see what it's outputting so far. So here we have the comments and now we will be able to edit this. So I'm going to go into the background now and put some uh, coding into our uh, style.css file. I mean, I don't want to bore you with going through every line as to how to code the styling. If you want to see the styling, you can just go to the GitHub page that I'm going to post in the description below if you want to copy my styles, but you can always just uh, use your own style. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So here we go. I've added all this code to the styling. So let's go back to our, our page. And here's the new comment form. As you can see, it looks not bad. So let's put in a sample comment. And then we put a name. Oh, that's email. And that's it. And as we can see, it posted the our comment, but this uh, this gravatar is huge. Let's let's get that sorted out. So in a prior uh, edit of the um, code, I had put this code here, blog post IMG. So by doing it like that, it's targeting every single image within the post. So what we want to do is we want to limit it to only images that are within a paragraph tag. So just put the P in there. Let's save that. Let's go back to our website and uh, refresh and there you go that's more like it that looks uh, half decent now so that takes care of our single page our single posts template you can see now if we go to a single post it uh, shows us the title shows us the image and it shows us the whole content and we also have a comments section so now what we need to have a look at is um, we need to have a look at the about page see as you can see right now it's not looking right and actually here this side by why is that there i think that's a mistake so let's fix that in the code if we go into here i think that this div should be outside actually let me get rid of this line here and let's refresh that and save for refresh that seems to have taken care of it let me check make sure the Post page is still okay. Looks good. Yeah, so that the single page now is looking good, but we want to be able to customize it. We don't want this uh, here and we don't want just an excerpt. So let's take care of that. So let's go back to our text editor. So in order to customize it, the first thing we need to do is create a new file. So let's create a file called page.php. And let's just write hello world Woo. and save that just to make sure it's working. Let's refresh this. So our template is working. So now let's go ahead and start customizing our page template. So what we can do is actually go into our index.php file, copy all the code we have here, and then paste it in our page.php file. And let's go back to our website refresh and you can see it here but a few things we don't want first of all we don't want a about link to be um, uh, a link anymore we just want it to be a title so let's take care of that first so we're gonna go here to where it says the title where is that now right here the title so we just need to remove these uh, anchor tags this one and the closing tag let's remove that save that and let's go back and refresh and you can see it's no longer a, uh, a link now it's just a title we also want the full content to be shown here so let's do that we can go back to our uh, text editor and here where it says the excerpt let's change that back to content the content save that and we have the full content again So that's looking much better. So the other thing in, on pages, you don't typically have this uh, date and who that is. It's just usually a data without attributing it to anybody. So we can get rid of that. If you want to leave it, go ahead. But you 
normally would get rid of that so we just go ahead and find this area where it's a post meta just delete the whole thing let's have a look that's good but I think we need a space there so let's just put a break and that's better so we can probably clean up our code a little bit more also we in the pages you don't have the featured post functionality so you might as well just get rid of that code I mean if you leave it there I don't think it's gonna really do anything but you might as well get rid of it so the code is clean and let's save that and nothing has changed so I'm just gonna go in the background and uh, clean up the code a little bit so here we go I just cleaned up the code a little bit just so it looks uh, a little bit neater and that's it for this po for this uh, tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so you can get notification of our next tutorial. And don't forget to like. And if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. Thanks. Bye-bye.